Welcome back Lottery fans. Today I'm going to show you a rundown that shows you exactly how to go ahead and hopefully predict triples that are hitting. Uh, I've been watching results recently and I seem to see a lot of triples hitting. Uh, so I've gone back into the archives and picked out a rundown that I've shown before. But this one shows you uh, how you can go ahead and predict what triples might be coming up. And the example I'm actually going to show you is going to show you exactly how this rundown predicted the triple sevens that just landed yesterday in North Carolina. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rundown for you and you'll see exactly how it actually predicted that rundown. So congratulations to everyone that hit those triple sevens in North Carolina yesterday. Uh, hopefully you use this rundown down because I've shown it in the past. Uh, if not, definitely start go ahead and use this rundown uh, if you think triples are going to start landing in your state. So this rundown, uh, as I said, we're going to use the uh, North Carolina as uh, the example for this and it's the North Carolina midday because that's the date where we actually hit the triple and it was 5-9 uh, where we hit triple sevens. Now in terms of the, uh, the rundown, uh, we're going to need to go ahead and do a little bit of research for this. So what you'll need to do, uh, and you follow along here, is you'll need to go and find past lottery results uh, for the lottery. So we'll, we'll need to find the past pick three lottery results for the New North Carolina midday. Uh, those are actually available on lotteryprediction.com. So you can definitely pull up a browser, go to lotteryprediction.com and find uh, the lottery results for past states. This is North Carolina's midday uh, right here. If you can see the camera will focus. Uh, there we go. Uh, and what we're going to need to do is, this is where it gets a little bit complex, we need to find in the past results two doubles that share the same pattern. Now what I mean by the same pattern is the numbers for those doubles fall in the same columns. Uh, for example, if we had a, um, uh, a 773 and a 442, this would be what we're looking for because the sevens and the fours are in the same spot there. Uh, another example might be if we had a, uh, a 393 three and a 101. One. This would be another one because these doubles here match these doubles here. So they're, they're in the same columns. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and look back in the lottery results, find the first instance of a double. Uh, so for example, in North Carolina here, uh, when I look back in the results, the uh, when looking past 777, which was when we actually had that triple there, uh, if I look back on 5-7, we had a 733. So 5-7 was a 733. So that was my first double. So that's what I'm looking for as my initial number, the very first double that hit that we can find in the past results. So now I'm going to track back further and find another double where we have a double in these last two digits here. So in North Carolina, I track back, and if I go back to 5-3, uh, we had a double land, which was a 0 one, one. So as you can see, the 3-3 three, three in the last two digits and the 1-1 one, one in the last two digits, both doubles, both following the same pattern, because they, they have that double in the same spot there. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll take our first number and we'll put it in on the top line of our lines rundown worksheet. If you want a copy of this worksheet, uh, it's completely for free on lotteryproject.com in the resources section. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can get that. But we're going to put 733 on this top line. And then we're going to take the next double that we had, the 011, and put it directly below. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is take each number and add it to each other itself to make that next number down. So we'll add 7 to 0, 3 to 1, and 3 to 1. So 7 plus 0 is 7, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 1 is 4. So that gives us our first line. Now we're going to take these. this line, the 7, 4, 4, and add it to the 1 above it. So we'll take 0 and 7 together, 1 and 4 together, and 1 and 4 together. So 0 to 7 is 7, 1 and 4 is 5, 1 and 4 is 5. And we're just going to keep going down until we uh, keep going down, adding these lines together, uh, and then hopefully we'll hit upon a triple. So we'll add 7. Now we go for the next two lines. We've got 7 and 7, so we'll add 7 and 7 together. That gives a 4. 4 and 5 together gives a 9. 4 and 5 together gives a 9. Next one down, 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 is a 1. 5 plus 9 is a 4. 5 plus 9 is a 4. Keep going down. 4 plus 1 is a 5. 6 plus 4 is a 3. 
9 plus 4 is a uh, 3. 1 plus 5 is a 6. 4 plus 3 is a 7. 4 plus 3 is a 7. 5 plus 6 is a 1. 3 plus 7 is a 0. 3 plus 7 is a 0. On the last one, next one down, 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. There we have it. That's our triple. That's the triple we're looking for. So by doing these calculations, we started with our two doubles and we hit upon a triple, which is 777. Now we go ahead and look at the results for North Carolina. There we have it. On the uh, 9th, of Feb uh, 9th of May, in the midday lottery, we had a 777 right there. So that's the result we're looking for. So this rundown accurately predicted uh, the midday North Carolina triple sevens that were hit. So big thumbs up for this rundown. As I said, I've done this rundown before, showed that it worked before. Uh, hopefully if, if triples are hitting in your state, I know Michigan just hit some triples today. Uh, go ahead and try this rundown in your state. Hopefully we'll, you'll get some triples and get some money out of the triple hits. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, definitely leave me a comment below if you if you do this rundown that works for you and you do hit a triple. Uh, please share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.